Hello Minecraft fans, this is just a fat video. There's a guy called I this HDX shit. Whatever his name is, he asked if I could help him with diamond pipes. He says they are confusing. Sure. Why not? Let's see, clear the area, there we go, okay, diamond pipes, um, let's see, let's plug up this hole, let's first spawn some diamond pipes so we can see what we're talking about, it's these things, <laughs> with colors, Look beautiful. No, not really. <coughs> anyway, the issue most people have with the diamond pipe is it's almost impossible to stack them vertical. That's one issue. So you have to stack them up against something. <coughs> then there's the issue with the colors. What the hell do I mean? And how do I use them best? Let's see, and we're missing one still. There we go. These are the maximum connections for a iron pipe. <coughs> But this might look confusing because I have used multiple different pipes. Uh, let's use this. Stone, 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 stone. Uh, an extra. Okay, <coughs> this is how it l would look for normal people. <laughs> you have the iron pipe, you have the colors. The colors are so you can remember the input and the output. Let's say, well, hell, let's not say, let's actually do it. Let's make a small um, quarry. Why not? One, two, three. There we go. And we need, of course need to power the quarry before we do anything else. And we're just going to use a few engines. And we're just going to power with lava and water. Okay, one, two, three. That should be fine for a start. Time day, some levers, page one, there we go. Okay, while the quarrying is building itself, we of course want uh, all the loot to go into a chest, or two maybe. So, normal people would make a chest like that, and well, of course, a gold first. Then stone pipes. There we go. And then we go there. To power the stone uh, gold pipe. <coughs> and there we go. Now everything the quarry is mining will get boosted by the gold pipe and will get put in this chest. And let's just verify that's true. 
<laughs> Bang. And it's off. As you can see, blocks are boosted by the gold pipe and into the chest. Let's turn this off for a second. <coughs> now let's say I'm looking for something special. I'm looking for coal. I'm looking for redstone. I also want diamonds. And let's say I want... Uh, what else do I want? I don't want anything else. <coughs> anyway, by the way, you noticed I turned it off and it's still going. That is because there is a lot of energy stored in the these engines. So, remember to turn it off in advance if you need to use it for something special. Okay, diamond pipe, here we go. <coughs> so to sort out these things I want, let's make some time, time to see. Five. I wanted diamond, I want uh, redstone, and um, coal. Iron ore, of course. <coughs> so, and this chest will be for everything else. There we go. So, to sort out these four things, I will now place a diamond pipe. And this is the iron pipe. There we go. As you can see, there is colors, and uh, I have to define what goes in what color. If I leave it blank, it will just go out random as a normal pipe. But since I wanted diamonds and redstone, I need at least one diamond and one redstone. So let's see, one diamond, one redstone, also one coal, and iron ore. Where is it? There. I will now have to place those in the green. This means if one of these things, one of these items show up in here from red, then they will put out to the right. Everything else, because the blue is empty, and you can see it was blue, will go that way. So we just going to continue the pipe down this way. And uh, basically do the same thing again. But now we know there's only two things coming down this... Four things coming down this pipe. First of all, diamonds. Now here's another problem. I need a second diamond. And this time I have to put it in red. So when it comes from there, it goes in there. Now I need... What does it say? Iron ore. Another iron ore. Wrong one. In the blue. And uh, I believe we can start the mine again. <coughs> and the last thing we need... Well, what was that? It's redstone and coal. Coal in the blue. And redstone in the red. That was fortunate. <coughs> now if uh, the quarry runs into either of these items, it will of course uh, sort them. Let's test There we go. You can see the next layer is iron ore. Let's just one down. There we go. Set. Diamond ore. One down. Set. 
There we go. And now you should be able to see. There we go. And it works. It puts the iron ore into that chest. And diamonds goes into this chest. <coughs> That's basically the only thing you have for only use you have with the with the diamond diamond ore. And then we can see I'm now trying to make a input. To make a input I'm going to need a iron ore because I do not want things to come out this way. You know, iron stops things, uh, make them one direction only. But when you make them like this, you can see that's no good. But you can make it into a loop. But the problem when they come in from yellow. <coughs> so, what I would recommend doing when you have to do something creative like that is... Oh, we need the wrench. There we go. Is to do it like this. Come on. And to cover another thing, we're just going to take a obsidian pipe and place it right there. And uh, <coughs> I'm going to put some stuff in my inventory that we were looking for. Like diamonds, redstone, coal. Now when I drop these things, they are going to get sorted. There we go. You can see all my items are going into the pipe. And they didn't get boosted by the by the gold pipe, so you, we can actually see what's going on. First of all, those matching the green color goes out the green pipe. And here we are with the next pipe, red and blue, should be diamonds and coal. Diamonds should go right, oh, iron, yes, of course. And it works perfect, that one should not be there. And this also works. So, when you need something, you can just go and pick it up, or attach a pump to it, and simply extract it from the chest. Example, if you... yeah, short example. Wooden pipe, stone transport, and where the... Uh, a furnace. Let's see, we got <coughs> coal in this one, iron in this one, and we want to transport it to automatically create um, iron ingots. In order for that to work, we have to fill the furnace. with our raw materials. Ooh. There we go. <coughs> and once the materials are done, they of course go in a chest. And a few pumps. One there, one there, one there. And some levers to start it on. Now the quarry is going to mine coal and iron ore, put them in their chests. It's going to be automatically be pulled out of the chest and into a furnace. I hope. Or eventually it might happen. 
Well, you can see the cold is going in from the bottom because it's the lower part, and the iron is going in from the top at some point. Anyway, we can now see it's burning, as it should, <coughs> and the iron ingots are automatically extracted and dumped into this chest. So whenever I need iron, I can just go and pick it up here and leave all this to mind its own, mind itself. Of course, I need to refuel the engines, but you get the idea. Hope that helped you to understand what the diamond pipes do. And maybe you can come up with some something amazingly interesting with the diamond pipes. <coughs> See a lot of people use, using them like this for a sorting system. Uh, also, uh, when you need to drop your inventory, I have it sorted for you. Uh, thanks for watching. Comment and rate. See you next time. Uh, I forgot one very, <laughs> very, very important thing. When I watch tutorials, I really hate when people describe something and they don't show how it's made. Diamond pipes are made like this. Diamond transport pipe. That's all. See you next time. Bye.